we are going to talk about the next steps. Now that you've had some experience with those action plans, Laura, what are the next steps? Thank you, Rita. Okay, so your top ideas in each area become the basis for your master plan. Who will you get to list the ideas compiled by the scribe? Uh, we will send those to you as soon as we have everything together. So you will get that soon. So the very first one, who's going to accept the report of ideas identified during your club visioning? Who will do that? Bob, I saw your hand waving. Okay. Okay. When? How quickly? Unmute. Whenever, whenever you get them to us, I mean, I'll do it right away as soon as we get it. So I'll just submit them out. So. Within uh, 24 hours, 48 hours? Yes, yes. Within 24 hours of the okay. time I get them, they'll go back out. So. Okay, all right. So our next step is next you will create your club statement of purpose, your motto, tagline, slogan, or whatever feels right to you. Often this comes from the questions about what does your club stand for and what are your club attributes? Now, typically this is done with a committee of about five that brings the recommendations back to the club as to what your motto will be. So who will lead this committee? This is not a one person. Who will lead the committee? Sandy? Okay, Sandy, great. Who is going to help her? Uh, Bob and... What is it? Oh, okay, Bob. We've got Bob and Sandy. Do we have Greg? Greg yes, there we go. Greg, thank you. Thank you. Evan. Okay, we've got Evan as well. Okay, uh, is the purpose statement, wait a minute, David, is the purpose statement different than the mission statement? No, it's whatever you want to call it. Semantics. Do we have one more person that would like to help with this? Jim. Great, okay. All right, Jim. Okay, when do we want to get this done? So when can you meet for the first time? Bob is gonna get the information out to you within 24 hours after he gets it. So when will be the first time all of you can meet? Sandy, what do you think? I'm thinking by the end of next week. Okay, so let's look at a calendar and let's put a date on that. Um, the end of next week is the 9th of October. Would that be correct? Yes. Okay, so the 9th of October. All right. Our next step is you will need to decide how to develop a process for generating the master plan using each of the top ideas. This is- Laura, I think we skipped number three. Yeah, and I think um, before we go on, I'm, I'm sorry, David had his hand up and I didn't oh. want to make, I didn't want to miss. David, did you want to be on the committee as well? Oh, excuse me, David. If there's room, I could be on that the second committee, but I think Jim beat me to the punch. So, but I'm I'm willing to help if needed. Well, David, I apologize for missing your hand, and the more the merrier. Okay, thank you. No worries. <laughs> let, let me say that I'm in the process of uh, of um, coming back to Indiana, but that process is probably going to go through next week. So, David, maybe you should take my place take you off. Fair enough. Thank you, Jim. Okay, okay Jim, do you want to lower your hand so we'll know that you're not volunteering right now for our 
Yeah, oh, I'm trying so to figure out how to do this. I got it for you. Okay. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Um, so we want to schedule a club assembly to share what has happened. The main thing is, is this has been a group effort and we do not want just one person doing it. We want a group to put this together at the club assembly. So what group would like to do that? We need to gauge the club. So Steve, we have your hand. So Steve's a part of this. Tell me where we are. I had to get off for a minute there with my mother. What, what, where, what's the, what's the. What, uh, Charles, what we're doing right at the moment, we're, we are at the next phase where we are scheduling when things are going to be done to submit it to the club, to come up with a, uh, a mission statement. And uh, so we're, we're just at the, we're towards the final phases of going forward with your club and letting your club understand what's happening. Okay. I think Steve's a great choice. Okay. Um, so who would like to help Steve? Sandy is president. Um, would you like to be a part of this as well? Sure. Okay. Okay, Bob is also a part of that. Would, do we have anyone else that would like to be a part of that? Okay, uh, Greg, I saw your hand. Okay, all right. I lost my place. When will we do that? Uh, when will you have a club assembly, uh, Sandy? Um, Thank you, Rita. Or any time that you want to present, you, the results would be just fine. Do you know your calendar? Yeah. Um, Mike Crumbo um, is our program person. Yeah, but we're, I, we're booked up to the 21st, and that's our polio program but we're open on the 28th. I wonder if we could do the polio program and this in the same club assembly or not? Probably not. We, we need to make you not to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, then the 28th would be the October. next meeting. Okay. <laughs> And, and may I ask, and Sandy, I believe if I'm looking at it correctly, that would be an in-person meeting. Is that correct? I'm looking. Just lost it. All right. Um, well, this, okay, if we're going every other week, um, we, um, the 30th tomorrow is in person. And then Zoom on the 7th, 14th on the, it would be a Zoom meeting. It, and the 28th would be in person. Yes, you're right. Sorry. And what exactly is going to be shared at this meeting here? I mean, obviously, we won't be through the whole process yet by then. I don't we think have, we. We have a PowerPoint template. And on the PowerPoint template. Okay. What is um, a little bit about what you did here at the visioning and then all the results in all the areas that you visioned in. Okay. And then okay. at the end, you ask for the commitment of your club to go ahead and move forward with those ideas that you would share that day. Okay. And Same. so asking for their help to volunteer to help you to develop those action plans. Good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we have 1028, that will be completed. So at this point, you need to assemble your president's development team um, to identify the process, to develop your action plans. Rita, would you like to explain that a little bit better to them? Sure. Um, <clears throat> this is a time when you assemble this group and you decide on a way that you're going to move those goals forward. So this group will be actually developing a process. 
not the whole plan, not the, the master plan, not the action plans. You will be developing the process by which you develop those, that master plan and those action plans. For example, you might say, okay, these three ideas have to do with foundation. Let's give that to the foundation chair and he can have his committee work on a goal for those three ideas and then the action plans for those three ideas. That's only one way. You will develop a process like that. This is what I'm thinking. I'm trying to be realistic. We have 32 members and uh, due to um, health reasons in the pandemic and um, people who live elsewhere, um, we, we have right now probably 24 active members that come to the meetings regularly. So um, I'm thinking, is it the president's development team there? Is it necessary to create another group to do that or can the board do that? The board can do that. Yes, that's up, up to you. It's any way that you all want to get a group of people together to develop that process. What do you guys think? I agree, Sandy. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, we got, you know, we know that board's committed. Okay, so they'll carry through the process. So yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm on board with it too. Okay, Sandy, would you like to tell us who's on the board that you want to put in the blanks here? Um, sure. Um, David and Charles and Bob and um, Evan. And I mean, if it's our entire board, are you, are we good with the entire board? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Greg. And Scott. And then we have um, Jack Rubish, who was here last night. And we have Edo Parat, E-I-D-D-O. Uh, P-O-R-A-T, and then um, Leanne, Wil Leanne Wilbur, and Edo is, a, is just I-D-D-O, it's not E, yeah, thank you. I got everybody? Yeah. So and you will be getting a guide so that um, you it will explain more about how to make this function, that okay. process. Okay. So you'll be getting a guide. Um, Laura will send that to you. All right, sounds good. So we've scheduled the club assembly, which is 1028. So when will we develop or this um, uh, committee? When will you start working on that? I'm assuming it's after the, the uh, club assembly presentation, correct? So when is the next board meeting after the club assembly? So we meet on the third Tuesday. Um, so I'm looking at my calendar here. So it looks like the 20th of October. Okay. Or, it, well, after. that, that would be November. Because that would be October you're right. when you're going to the assembly. Correct. So that would be November the 17th. Okay. Okay. Now, here we go. Who is the one person or a group of you that will be willing to be the club vision champion or what it could also be called an impact group? not doing everything that is not your that is not your role but making sure the club keeps moving forward with these this vital work now of course the champion or the group of champions job is actually for the next three years 
because your vision is a three-year vision. So who do you think is going to be that right person or group of people to be the champions? I think Randy Johnson should be involved there if he's willing. I, uh, I spoke to Randy about that because I think Sandy kind of didn't appoint me but suggested I might want to do this. And I reached out to Randy since he did it last time, and he's anxious to help us for sure. Okay. So I can do it. Randy is willing to help with that as well. I don't have to do it. Trust me, i got plenty of other things going on in my life, but, uh, but I'm more than, well, more than willing to do this if we, if, if we need it. But uh, Randy for sure will be involved, he said. So. Well, I'm, Randy back. Here. I'm back now. Okay, good. Um, and yes, I, I'm happy to do that. Do you want one person or do you want multiple people? We have Mike's hand raised. Um, it's completely your call. I think Mike would be a great one. I think multiple people make sense. Okay. So Randy, you're willing to take this on. Mike, your hand being up, does that mean you're willing to be part of this group? That's an affirmative answer, yes. Good. And Bob, you are as well. So yes. yeah. it's always easier to make something happen when more than one person is doing it. Um, are we happy with three people or do we have another? I think three is good. Okay. All right. And that, of course, is for the next three years. It's not a one and done. So you have your team. Okay, wonderful. So you have your master plan with goals to accomplish over the next three years. Now you need to have a process by which the action plan for each of those goals will be created. We encourage you to give this task to your committees. Uh, after presenting the results, remember when the committee generates its own plan is more likely to follow through with that plan. A post club visioning guide will be sent to the president to help with developing your master plan and action plans. After everything developed, be sure to send your master plan to your assistant governor and to your district governor so they can support you in the process that you've achieved. 